Hello mga Matthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, eto na ang part 2 ng problem solving involving linear equation and inequality in one variable. Okay, so we will discuss number 4 and number 5. Ngayon kung una mong nakita ang video na ito bago yung part 1, I-check mo siya sa playlist ha, nandun siya. Unahin mo muna siyang panoorin bago ito para naman makarelate ka sa mga sasabihin ko dito sa part 2. Ngayon, bago ko simulan ang video na ito, siguraduhin na muna ang napindot nyo na dyan, ang like button. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, simulan na natin. Mga anak nga pala, ah, yung mga videos natin, baka nagsisearch kayo, hindi nyo makita, i-click nyo lang yung playlist ng grade 7, second quarter. Lahat ng guides para sa second quarter muzul ay nandun, ha? Kaya hindi na kayo mahihirapan. Okay, for number 4, the sum of two consecutive even integers is less than 62 but greater than 26. Now, find at least three pairs of numbers. Okay, so inequality ito ha, kasi may less than and greater than tayo. Okay, ang sum daw ng dalawang consecutive integers, so meron kang x so for the first integer, o oh, first, okay, sige. Lagyan natin ng let, ng let. Let x be the first Okay, integer. Integer. Okay, for the second integer, dahil even siya, imbis na plus 1, dapat x plus 2. Okay, so be the, be the second integer. Naiintindihan nyo naman yung sulat ko, anak, no? Pakinggan na lang yung sinasabi ni ma'am kasi medyo mahirap magsulat dito sa computer natin. Okay, sila daw, pag in natin kasi sum ay mas mababa kay 62 pero mas mataas kay 26. So, paano natin isusulat yan? So, we have here x plus x plus 2 kasi sum nilang dalawa. Ito daw ay mas mababa kanino? Kay 62. Pero, mas mataas siya kanino kay 26. Okay? So, etong value nito ay mas mataas kay 26 pero mas mababa kay 62. Now, let's solve. I-add muna natin to. X plus X. You will have there 2X plus 2. Okay, that is less than 62 but greater than 26. Now, since dalawa ito, ba? etong to natin, Pag nilipat natin, dapat sa magkabilang sides. Pero dahil magilipat tayo, maiiba yung sign ha. So, kung nilipat natin ito dito, magiging 26 minus 2 siya. Okay. Is less than, matitira na lang si 2x. And then, 2x is less than 62. Ililipat din natin siya dito. So, from positive, magiging negative 2 din siya dito. Okay, now what is 26 minus 2? Excuse me, you have 24. Okay, that is less than 2x. Okay, but less than also with what? 62 minus 2. Correct, that's a 60. O, paano na? Ano nang gagawin natin dito susunod? Since ang kailangan lang natin ay value ni x, so, kailangan matanggal natin si 2 by dividing it by 2. Siyempre, kung nag-divide ka dyan, dahil may kaliwat kanan ka, pareho silang i-divide by 2. So, what is now 24 divided by 2? You have there 12 is less than, okay, 2x divided by 2. You have x na lang, ba Cancel na siya. And then, 60 divided by 2, you have there... 30. Okay, so yung value daw ng x mo dapat ay mas mataas kay 12 pero mas mababa kay 30. So, kailangan natin ng ilan ng tatlong pairs o oh, at least 3 pairs. Okay na ng tatlong pairs. So, pumili ka ng number between 16 and 30 na even. So, hindi pwede si 13 kasi hindi siya even, kaya ang kukunin mo ay si 14. Kung si 14 ay si x, ano si x plus 2? 
14 plus x plus 2 is 16. Okay, next number. Hindi pwede si 15 kasi ay siya ay hindi even, odd siya. So, kukunin natin si 16. 16 plus, oh, yung x natin ay 16 plus 2, you will have here 18. Okay, next to 16 ay 18. 18 plus 2 is 20. Pwede ding, 9, ah, pwede ding 20, ha? Pwede ding 24, pwede ding 26. Basta dapat, mas mataas kay 12, pero hindi pwede ding tataas kay 30. So, therefore, oh, lagyan natin ng sentence. Therefore, the pairs are... 14 and 16, 16 and 18, and 18 and 20. Okay, that's your guide for number 3, ha? Madali lang yan. Ang sa inyo ata ay 60 and 24. Okay, tinasang ko lang ng tig dalawa. Pero kayang-kaya nyo yan. Okay, for our last part, we have the perimeter of the square is 6 is less than 156 meters. Now, find the possible length of the, the sides of the square. Sorry. So, we have perimeter. Ibig sabihin, if we have this square, ia-add natin yung mga sides niya. So, magkakaroon ka ng S plus S plus S plus S for your perimeter. Okay? Which is 4S. So, whatever the side times a 4, that's your perimeter. Pero, dahil ang perimeter mo ay 156, so you will have here 4x, 4x, or 4s. So, pwede ding x kasi variable naman yan is equal to 156. Now, to find for the length, you have to divide it by, this is s ha, baka kala nyo 45. You have to divide it by 4 and then by 4. Cancel. So, your S will be what? What is 156 divided by 4? Okay, 156 divided by 4. You have here 3. This will become 12. And this is 36. 36 divided by 4 is how many? 9. 9 times 4 is 36. 36 minus 36 is 0. So, your S here is 39. Okay? Ay, sorry, ha? Find the possible. Is less than. Sorry, is less than. Palitan lang natin ito. Same procedure pa rin naman. Pero ito dapat ay hindi equal. Ito dapat ay less than. So, less than, less than. So, yung value daw ng measurement natin kay S ay mas mababa kay 39. Okay? So, ito yung magiging ating condition so find the possible length so therefore therefore the possible lengths the possible length of the sides Okay, marami. ba? Mas mababa kay 39. Marami yung 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, pababa. Okay? Eh, hindi pwede yung mga negative sign kasi hindi naman, wala tayong uh, measurement na negative at wala din tayong measurement na zero. So, therefore, the possible length of the sides uh, is between, is between what? is between or sorry ibahin natin therefore the possible wait length of the sides is from 1 to 38 okay so pwedeng 1 pwedeng 2 pwedeng 3 pwedeng 4 okay pero hindi pwedeng tataas kay 39 hanggang 38 lang Okay, so ito yung sulat nyo, saka ito ha, yung sentence na answer. Okay, dahil dyan, natapos na natin ang inyong mga module. Kung natutunan nyo ang video na ito, please i-comment yan sa baba. Ah, kahit thank you lang mga anak, mag-comment kayo. Kahit smiley lang, kahit heart lang, okay na okay na sa akin. Para maapit ang video na ito. Kaya huwag kayong selfish dyan ha, mag-comment kayo. At daging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!